The Chinese government has ordered a mass coronavirus testing in a Beijing district ahead of the Winter Olympics. Maeve and Dog will tell us why live. Yes, Maeve, go ahead. Morel, authorities have told people in high-risk areas of the capital to not leave the city after 25 cases were reported in the Fangtai district and 14 more in other areas. The government is tightening China's zero-tolerance strategy as Beijing prepares to open the 2022 Winter Games on February 4. Fangtai residents lined up at testing sites in freezing weather on Sunday, as 56 new cases were confirmed nationwide, 37 of which are believed to have been acquired overseas. City government spokesman Xu Hajan said Beijing should take the most resolute, decisive and strict measures to prevent the transmission of the virus. The upcoming Olympics will be held under strict controls, which will involve isolating athletes and attendees from the outside world. They are also required to be vaccinated and will undergo quarantine upon arrival. Currently, China has more than 118,000 confirmed cases and around 4,800 deaths, according to data by the Center for Systems Science Engineering at Johns Hopkins University. Marielle? One of China's longest COVID-19 lockdowns is over. Most restrictions in the northern megacity of Xi'an have been lifted after daily cases slowed to single digits. Public transport and economic activity have fully resumed and residents with a clean bill of health can now leave Xi'an. The good news comes just in time for the Chinese New Year holiday next week. Tens of millions of people are set to travel in what's known as the world's largest annual human migration. But many reunion plans have been thrown in limbo as several major cities grapple with outbreaks. Some, like Beijing, have doubled down on movement restrictions. But the government wants to avoid a full-scale lockdown of the capital ahead of the Winter Olympics. It's been urging residents to stay put during the Chinese New Year holiday. <laughs> Several districts in the capital have started mass testing for key groups, including construction workers, people working in the coal chain industry and delivery staff. All two million residents of Feng Tai district have been screened after a local Delta outbreak involving frozen food workers was found there. And Olivia Xiong joins us live. Olivia, what's the mood like in Beijing? How concerned are authorities ahead of the Winter Olympics? Well, we Su, um, there is a sense that Beijing is really on edge. We are now less than two weeks away from the start of the Winter Olympics that will be held here. And even though the number of locally transmitted cases is falling, the concern really is Beijing. Today reporting nine new locally confirmed cases. This brings the total number of cases in this wave to 52 in the last nine days. And health authorities, though, are saying that while the outbreak in Beijing is severe, and complicated, it maintains that this outbreak is under control. Now, Beijing is dealing with both the transmissible uh, Omicron and Delta variants. It claims its spread is related to cold chain logistics. Um, authorities say the Omicron spread seems to have been controlled for now with none of the new local cases that are being reported of this more transmissible variant. But the concern is also that a number of nearby provinces to Beijing have reported cases uh, linked to this Beijing cluster as well. The other concern is the large arrival of participants from overseas for these Winter Olympic Games that start on February 4th. Um, and they are continuing to arrive. Over 70 COVID-19 cases among these participants have been detected so far, um, including one that's a team member. Now, we do not know whether this individual is an athlete or an official. Uh, the breakdown does not tell us that, but organized 
organizers are saying that the fact that cases are being detected shows that the prevention measures that have been put in place are working. So all participants that are arriving in Beijing are being placed under a closed loop environment, meaning that they will not be allowed to have any contact with the wider community here in Beijing. They are also uh, required to do daily COVID-19 testing uh, and to take designated flights into the Chinese capital. Olivia, now these prevention measures you uh, mentioned, they have been stepped up given these concerns. Do you expect these measures to continue? Well, so we have to remember that even though these case numbers seem relatively low, especially as we compare them to many other countries around the world, we have to remember that China is still holding on to its zero COVID policy. And so we hear Beijing authorities say today at a press briefing that the capital must take, quote, the most decisive and strict measures to stop the spread of the virus. And so we know that several districts here in Beijing are conducting mass testing on key groups of people, including those involved in cold chain logistics, as it believes that infectious Infections are being related are related uh, to those working in this industry. The district of Fengtai, which has completed a round of screening for its population of about uh, 2 million people, is about to do another round of mass testing starting from tomorrow, giving you a sense of how serious the authorities are taking this. And we are talking about residents lining up in freezing cold temperatures. We had snow over the weekend. Um, residents lining up outside to get tested. Tested. Other measures have also been announced. Those who buy cough medicine or fever medicine in the last 14 days are now required to get tested within 72 hours for COVID-19. If not, the health codes on their phone may be affected and this uh, will affect daily life as this health code is needed to enter buildings uh, and malls and to go about uh, many uh, daily activities as well. And those in risk areas have been told not to leave the city. But what may raise some eyebrows or may seem contrary to what's happening here in Beijing is that we have seen uh, at the IOC, the Olympics organizers now saying that they are relaxing some of the prevention measures for those in the closed loop participants uh, of the Winter Olympics. This includes reducing the threshold for being designated positive from PCR tests. Also, close contacts will be traced for a seven day instead of a 14 day period. And this comes as experts have said that these very strict requirements that games organizers are imposing could mean many athletes, if they test positive, may not be able to take part in the games uh, due to these strict requirements that are in place. Oh, thanks for that, Olivia. Olivia Xiong there for us there in Beijing.